this afternoon we're going to be getting some amaranth leaves or well, as we call them go ahead darling as we call them in zambia or in, or in, in bemba april that's not how you do it you get them like that like this you pinch that off these are seeding so i'm going to try and avoid getting those because i want more seeds I want more of these vegetables to grow. So if I remove the seeds before they grow, then it won't spread. So this is really nutritional. It's actually a superfood. It's categorized as a superfood. It is filled with lots of vitamins and nutrients so I'm going to have this as my protein for the day it's almost Mommy, so, oh, so many planes. it's almost 4 p.m. which means it's almost time for me to eat so I'm getting my meal ready what I'm going to be having is sweet potatoes with peanut butter, a cup of coffee, some leftover sausage that my daughter didn't eat, and we'll call it a day, maybe on a few dates, because I'm kind of craving something sweet, so I'll have a few dates, just two. To appease my sweet tooth. Let me try to one. one what? One. One for, for you. you Thank you. My this is what the bush looks like. So there are several different varieties. This one is especially tasty. It's really yummy. It has almost a sweetish taste to it. I don't know. I'll come. I'll show you the other ones I have, but we won't be picking any of those because they are in a vegetable bed where I spread um, a broad spectrum insecticide. The insects have been attacking my garden like no man's business, so I had to do something about it. My roses are also suffering, unfortunately. I hope it worked. So I'll wait a week and then do another round of spraying. So I didn't spray in the lettuce because this is a vegetable I eat every day and for some reason the bugs don't like it. So that's wonderful for me. Okay. So this is another variety. This ones grow with really big leaves and they grow really, really tall. There are also the red ones, but I don't think I have any. Let me look in the garden, see if we can find some. I'm going to take you on a tour of my garden one of these days. I'm still looking for... So this is like the variety I showed you just now. It's pretty much a weed. This came from the manure that my parents brought for us. Hold on, honey. Hold on. So I can't use any of these because they've been sprayed. I'm coming. This is yet another another type of veg. Another type of amaranth. Ah, they okay, found them. This is not the variety I was talking about, but yeah, this is another type. We have this red tip. Thank you. I thought you wanted. Oh, there you go. <coughs> All right. Okay. Thank you. So you don't really have to cut them, but I choose to do it uh, because my daughter likes these vegetables. 
so I like them to be small enough that she's able to to eat them without too much difficulty. Anyway, so once you get the veg, are we in focus here? Okay, I like to hold on. So you now have to remove the little seeds in the middle, if you like. You can cook it just like that, there's really no harm. But just pick out all the, like the bad leaves. So these are really sandy. Thank you. Really dusty. Hold on. Yeah, so just going through removing any piece of dirt or bugs or anything undesirable. So we're going to wash these now. Oh, this doesn't look good. That is, mm -hmm, that doesn't look good. Go ahead. Yes, you. I like when vegetables have lots of onions. I don't like <clears throat> I don't like too much tomato in my veg so I'll get just one small tomato so I'll add it to the, the onion. Tomato is very watery and not very fleshy, so it's not very good. I don't, I decide on my like head. Clean that now I'm going to add some salt. Oh God, my stove is so dirty. I'm cooking something. So, <coughs> so I'm just waiting to finish cooking and then clean it. Anyway, add some salt. I'll just estimate. So I'll say about two pinches of salt. Stir that up. Okay, you want to come down? I'm snacking on a local banana that we got on the way back from Chipata Rock. So, yeah. That's what's happening here. Just run away.
See how the tomato is cooked right through? Oh. This is the perfect time to add the vegetables in. Mommy, I'm just trying to put the vegetables in there so that the tomatoes don't burn at the bottom. See? They're beginning to burn. So we're going to leave this like this for maybe two minutes. And then we're going to come and turn it. And then just keep tossing it about until it's done. It's actually been only a minute, but I can tell I need to turn the vegetables. Just press them about like that. 